All right, well, thank you so much for watching the other videos. You've learned a lot so far. So if you need to take a moment to just digest the information, or if you can't remember some of the stuff, feel free to go back and rewatch that. So this is the fifth section. This is about the wire. So wiring, that's essentially how the electricity gets from the transformer to all of the lights. Now wiring, um, there are different thicknesses. It used to be that we installed halogen lighting systems and every wire had to be really thick. So the lower the number, the thicker it is. So really, really thick wire is 8-2 gauge or 10-2 gauge. And the thickest one I ever use is a 12-2 gauge. I often use 14-2 and 16-2. Lights itself, the fixture itself, they'll come usually with a 18-2 gauge. And that's fine because the electricity is just going to the fixture itself. Uh, but when you have a main wire or wire that's connected to several different lights, you need to have a thicker wire instead of these thin wires. One of the reasons why you need a thicker wire is it just lasts longer. When you have a thicker wire in the ground, it doesn't get cut as easily. Whereas some of these smaller wires, I mean, I feel like you can almost step on the dirt and then they pinch and it doesn't work anymore. So make sure you have thick wire. And the other reason, like in the last section with transformers, the thicker wire has a more amperage that it can hold. And so it, it makes it so the transformer isn't working as hard. And then you can also put more lights on thicker wire. So let's say you have 15 lights. If you have a thinner wire, you're gonna to have to run several main runs for those lights to work. Whereas a thicker wire, you can run one, possibly two, but usually just one main wire to those lights and it can power all of them. So a thicker wire can handle more watts uh, and more lights to it. And the last thing with wire is the voltage drop. So the farther it goes, the thicker wire you need. So you can make that electricity go all the way to the end and power up those lights because the, the watts will, or the volts will drop. So let's say you're sending out a 15 volt out. By the time it gets to, I don't know, let's see it's 200 feet it's probably going to drop three volts so if it's even further it's going to drop even further so the thicker wire makes it so it can go further without as much voltage drop so if you have a thin wire you go 300 feet it might drop like um like five volts now i do have an equation for you but uh I don't think you really need it and I don't remember it so you probably won't need to remember it all but there is an equation that you can calculate how much the voltage drop honestly you could just check the furthest light with the voltmeter and just see how many volts it is and you can just do it that way so there you go this section was really short it's about landscape lighting wire and thank you so much for watching this. The next section is about connectors. This is a really important one and you need to pay attention to it because a lot of connectors suck. So don't do it the wrong way. Don't use the wrong stuff. And uh, I'll see you in that video. Bye.